End of 2009, we received a very special request from a consultant from the World Bank who wanted to introduce to us a new business in Mongolia. It was about livestock insurance, the insurance of herds of yaks, camels, horses and goats. The consultant had planned a trip to Switzerland with representatives of the Mongolian insurance industry, the Ministry of Agriculture and Finance. He never was precise on the number of people that are coming to visit us. So one sunny day, a delegation of 14 people from Mongolia plus the consultant came to visit our offices in Switzerland. The first challenge was, how do you seat 20 people in a room with only eight chairs? <laughs> Luckily, the delegation didn't mind to move closer together and during the first hour, Everybody tried to tell us what they liked about Switzerland and how easy it is to travel around in such a small country. Jerry Skies, the consultant, then explained that Mongolia is about two and a half times the size of France, but only slightly more than three million people are living there. Major source of income is mining business and livestock. Three quarters of Mongolia's area consists of pasture land supporting immense herds of grazing animals. 35 to 40 million is estimated today. Livestock is supplying herders with milk, fur, meat and transport. For more than 50% of the population, it creates the only source of income, which allows them to earn enough money for buying supply and sending their kids to school. Therefore, livestock is key to the prosperity of Mongolia. The Mongolian government was looking at the mechanism to protect herders from adverse weather conditions, potentially mortality caused by the soot. Soot is a weather phenomenon which brings strong winds combined with extreme cold and heavy snowfall. Mongolian breeds can withstand harsh weather, but if the temperature for, falls below minus 40 Celsius for a longer time, it has a devastating impact on herders. A good example is 2010. We had, we, we had weeks uh, with temperatures as minus 40, minus 45, and 3 million animal, animal diets during this winter. With the help of the World Bank, the Mongolian insurance industry developed a livestock index cover to protect herders. The index is very simple in its design, but a bit complex in the application. So in fact, you count all the animals before winter, you count the animals after winter, and if there are some missing animals, you have a payout. With 35 million animals, you can imagine how difficult this is. So every autumn, at the spring, at the autumn fairs, thousands of government employees spread around in the country and start counting the animals. They write them down, they register them by breed, color, uh, size, age, and you name it. They do it again, the same again in spring, and then comparing the numbers, and if in a certain area, the number of lost animals is exceeding 6%, there is a payout. There are some technical challenges to assist and price this type of risk. Nevertheless, CORE decided at this point to support the scheme with a 100% share, not because of the huge business potential we saw, but it had a huge social impact on the Mongolian herders. The following year, we were invited to Mongolia for a workshop. There are no direct flights from Switzerland to uh, Mongolia. You have to fly through Moscow. I soon found out that English is not the language you speak in a flight from, Mo from Moscow to uh, Ulaanbaatar. Each time I ordered a glass of water, I received a glass of vodka instead. So landing at six o'clock in the morning, slightly drunk, I was picked up by our business partners and we started our journey 400 kilometers to the northeast of the country. The landscape is gorgeous ranging from desert to semi-desert to grassy steppes. The first day of our travels, we spent mainly in the car, long distances, hardly any people in between small towns. Along the road, in each town or village, I saw little monuments, either of Genghis Khan or his wife. 
Also, he lived around 800 years ago, the founder of the Mongol Empire, perceived as one of the greatest conquerors of all times, is still very much in the mind and heart of people in Mongolia. For the second day of our trip, we planned to visit three herders in different places. Most of them are still nomads, so they move around with their herds and follow the grass. The first herder was, was uh, scheduled for 11 in the morning, and we planned around 45 minutes. What we, what, we didn't, what we underestimated was the enormous amount of hospitality we were facing in this, in this country. Because he was meeting for the first time people from Switzerland, he invited all his families, and they came from far away. So 20 people were waiting for us to see us. Of course, he slaughtered a goat some days before, and we were invited for lunch and a lot of fermented yak milk. It's difficult to describe the test, the taste of yak milk. So the one of you who already had it, you know, and the ones who didn't, give it a try. <laughs> what impressed me most uh, ar uh, around the hospitality and during our discussion was the profound understanding of the concept of insurance. There was an old lady coming from the southern part of Mongolia, and she explained to me that in her area, they're not exposed to the risk of soot. But by buying insurance, she can support her brother who lives in the north and help him to protect his herds. She was convinced that with the contribution she makes, to ins she makes insurance affordable and sustainable. Obviously, we were running late by a couple of hours for the next meeting. Again, neighborhood, family, a goat was slaughtered, yuck milk, we had lunch, <laughs> and, and uh, the third meeting to say. So the day ended really three times lunch, lots of fermented yuck milk, and lots of impression and memories about people and lifestyles. Traveling to Mongolia was certainly one of my most memorable trips I did in my career. The livestock insurance scheme is still in place today, and by maintaining very close relationship to the people we met more than 10 years ago, we could slowly expand our business relationship into new lines. Thank you very much. <laughs>